Ladies and gentlemen, it's wonderful to see your beautiful smiling faces. Today we're talking all about color. We're going to look at a color wheel today. And I don't happen to have one, so I'm going to go make one. You can do this with me. I need to find some different objects around my house that match the colors of the rainbow. So for starters, my son's favorite color is red and his grandma made him a red quilt. So I'm going to go to his bedroom and there is John's red, red blanket, red quilt. Yes, that'll work for R, red. Now, R, O, Roy G. Biv, right? Roy G. Biv, that's how you remember the rainbow, what comes after red, orange. We need something orange. I have an orange shirt in my closet. So, here. All righty, there's an orange shirt. I've got all these different colored shirts for, you know, there we go. That'll work. Orange. Uh, yellow. Roy. R-O-Y. Yellow. Orange. Yeah, uh, yeah, red, orange, yellow. Yellow's next. Okay. There's my bed. Oh, look. I got yellow pillows. Yellow. Yellow. I got red, orange, yellow. What's the G? G. 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 What's the G stand for? Green. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I saw some green Minecraft pajamas in the laundry room the other day. Oh, yuck. Dirty clothes. Oh, smell that. Oh, that smells great. Oh, look, while we're here, not just green, but B. What's next? B is blue. Look, there's some blue jeans. Blue jeans. Let's grab some blue jeans. Blue jeans. Yeah, let's grab some blue jeans. And uh, after B for blue, we need uh, V. V, uh, right? Roy G. Biv. B, v, 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 v is for violet. Violet. Let's go grab some violet. There's a violet shirt. Hard to see in this closet, but yeah, that, that, that's purple. That's a purple shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All righty, let's uh, take all of these different colors and put them in a pile. There we go. All right, we got a pile on the floor here with all of our colors. Let's figure out how we're going to arrange these. We want something called a color wheel, so it should be a circle, a circle. And we're going to start in the same order as the rainbow. Let's start with our red at the top. Red is going to be at the top of our circle. Then we want to move around the circle with the next color, O, and then Y. Right there we got our Roy, R, O, Y. Then at the bottom of the circle, we're going to have our green. So that's half of our circle is done. Then blue comes next. Let me these are inside out, but you know what? I'm just going to leave them as they are. There we go. B for blue. And last, V is for violet. Notice how we've got these arranged in a circle. That's called a color wheel. I'm going to maneuver this orange a little bit. There, stand up. Oh, look, we got a circle. Now, the color wheel is really useful for helping artists figure out how things work. The reason we've arranged everything in a circle is because this circle, this color wheel, can help us make some decisions when we're working on our artwork. If we want high contrast, right, where things pop out, then we want to use colors that are opposites on the color wheel. So purple is across from yellow. Would I use purple and red or purple and blue next to each other? No, those aren't going to be very high contrast, but a purple next to yellow, that's going to be high contrast. What if I want uh, some harmony or unity? Have all my colors feel like they really belong together? Then I want to use next door neighbors. So like if I use blue and green and yellow and these colors down here, those will work really well together, feeling all harmonious like we all belong together. Same thing if I would use orange and red and yellow, right? Those are all next to each other. They're next door neighbors. They're really friendly to each other. But if I was using those colors and then I threw some blue in, that would really pop out against all those other brighter colors. The color wheel also has hidden in it some color mixing, right? We all know that red and yellow and blue are the primary colors. What happens if I mix red and yellow together? If I mix yellow and red, I get orange, which is in between them. Fancy that. Well, what happens if I mix yellow and blue together? I get green, which is in between them. Huh. And what happens if I mix blue and red together? I get purple, which is in between them. So we got color mixing here. So this is a color wheel. Go make your own color wheel. Just find some stuff. It doesn't have to be clothes and, and pillows and stuff. Find anything you can find that's these colors 
and arrange it into a color wheel. Or you could draw a circle and color with actual colors, but you know, this was more fun.